So freehand templates like this are super helpful when you're airbrushing. They allow you to create really quick designs by just holding the template, spraying over it. You'd have, in this case, a skull. You can also use fire templates like this fire tool template that I created to create some fire effects. The one thing that I get asked a lot is how do I go about cleaning my templates? And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do so. Let's start with the fire template. Usually when I'm doing fire artworks, I'm using automotive paints, even though I I do also use water base quite frequently. I like to use the automotive candies to really create the depth in the fire. And if you want to clean something like this when it's got automotive paint on it, then you need to spray it with a reducer or gun wash, and that will then eat into the paint. And then you can just clean it off with something like a baby wipe and definitely wear gloves to protect your hands and a mask. I haven't got a mask on at the moment for obvious reasons. I'm speaking to you while I'm doing this, but you can see how easily that just takes all of the paint off. And yes, you can use automotive thinners to quickly clean your templates with water-based paint as well. However, I'll show you a product that I prefer to use, which is a lot less toxic and a lot cheaper. Spin it around the other way and give the other side a bit of a spray. Again, very easy to remove paint that's been sitting on there for a while. I've had this paint on there for at least a couple of months. Okay, now that that's clean, lift it up, give your bench a wipe and peel off some paper towel. And then this one's pretty much dry already, but if you want to dry them off, I like to sandwich it in between two bits of paper towel. And there you have it. The template is as good as new. And because these are made from a mylar film, they're solvent proof. So no issue at all using these sort of solvents to clean your template. So now I'm gonna show you how to clean this skull template. This has been sprayed with water-based paints. And also if you've got a texture template like this one here, the awesome texture effects template by Gerald Mendez. I love these templates. All series are fantastic. So these are made from like a paper material. However, you can see here, they use a special metallic polymer coated material and are solvent resistant. So it's up to you. I don't use thinners on these ones or gun wash. I like to just use what I'm gonna use for the water base templates. And with these, I spray onto a paper towel and I sandwich it in between and I let it soak and then gradually dab it. Don't drag the paper towel on this because you could pick up any of these little fine details and ruin your template. So just be very careful when cleaning these. So with templates like this that I've sprayed with water based paint, what I like to use is a regular glass cleaner. You can see I've got the Windex here. However, you should use one with ammonia in it. It will definitely strip the paint and make it a lot easier to clean. Make sure you also wear some protective gear when spraying this, especially a mask, because it is still toxic. Again, spray it on, let it sit for a second, then grab another baby wipe, carefully hold on to your template, and you can see how quick and easy that strips the paint off. So it doesn't matter, even if that paint has cross-linked, this will strip it off. If it doesn't, then switch to your gun wash or automotive reducer, acrylic thinners, whatever you have. Flip it over, give it one more spray. Keep in mind which bits you're cleaning so that you don't drag and damage your template. The Mylar ones are a lot stronger. Some of them can still have fine detail in them and you can have all sorts of trouble if you start to damage them. The other option is you can also submerge them in a bucket filled with some of this solution. Spray it once more, the paper towel over the top. Now, just come in, clean it a bit more. You can see this one's fairly stubborn, but still comes off nice and easy. And that's well and truly clean enough. Can spend more time, but I think you get the idea. There you have it, nice and clean. So to fast track your learning, you can definitely check out our online airbrushing course at airbrushasylum.thinkific.com or you can continue to watch some of the videos that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.